This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 17, Complex Sprite Movement, Part 12. I see a bunch of code. I think it's the game. Yes, it is. The game we've been working on. And there's the coin we added in the last uh, puzzle. Make sure if you don't have this, if yours doesn't do this, you need to go back and do the other parts of the lesson. Otherwise, you won't be able to do this lesson. Are we going to add? Nope, no animation. Okay, cool, but we have our coin. So let's see. Reset coin. When your character touches the coin, you should reset it somewhere on the screen. That makes sense? Do this. Place an if block inside of your draw loop. Use the sprite is touching block as the condition, and remember, a condition is something, a question we ask the computer, to detect when the character touches the coin. Inside the if block, write code that sets the that sets the coin's x and y position to random numbers between 0 and 400. Hint, you've already written this code somewhere else in your program. Test your code before moving on. When the player touches the coin, it should move somewhere else on this screen. Okay, so what's it start with? Place an if block inside your draw loop. Alright, quick reminders, here's the variables, here's our sprites. The draw loop is this, right? This is what the draw loop is. And it runs over and over, 25 or 30 times a second. So place in if block inside of our draw loop. Use this sprite is touching block as the condition to detect. Don't let these words scare you. So I'm going to grab this and my if block and put if right here. Now in this if block, what it was saying is I want to use is touching. So that should be, yep, here. The reason I want to use this inside of the if parentheses is that's the question I'm asking the computer. So what do I want to know? Well, I want to know if my character, because the variable up here is named character, is touching the coin. So if character is touching the target, which is the coin, and what you're doing here is each time draw loops runs, right, that was 25 or 30 times a second, you're asking the computer, hey, check, is the character touching the coin? If so, run this code. Right, so the computer says, nope, false. And then it skips all of this code and just runs whatever is below it. And if it is true that second, or that 1 25th of a second, it runs the code inside here. So what we wanted to do, if it's true, use this sprite as touching, we got that, inside the if block, write code that sets the coin's x and y position to random numbers between x, between 0 and 400. So I'm going to grab some variable stuff here, equals, equals because I want to set the y properties of my sprite so we're going to make it sprite sprite okay and we don't have anything named sprite we have this variable named coin which is our coin animation so coin y coin x and I want it to appear anywhere on the screen right so that's between 0 and 400 oops 0 and 0 and 400 y 0 400 x so Random numbers should be over here, and I'm just going to drop that in. Whoop, whoop, and then 0 to 400, and 0 to 400. So this is the code I have. Let's see if uh, it actually does anything. Whoop, whoop. I'm adding sound effects, apparently. Boom. Oh, and it moved. Oh, I really hate how slow my character is. It hasn't told me to change that, but I definitely want to change that. I'm going to test this more. And so each time the coin should, yep, randomly generate. Urr, urr, move over, move over. Oh, got it. Okay. So it looks like to me, ah, my uh, program is working. It's weird though that, oh, notice it's only moving across the screen. So I need to get rid of this. Because I need to change the sprite y variable. No wonder why it wasn't going up and down as it changed. Let's try. Go, go, go. Go, helicopter man. That's his new name. Or woman. Boom. There we go. Now it's y variable is changing. And I think we're going to add a scorekeeping mechanism. Anyways, this is the code that worked for me. What I added is this if stuff. And that's what generates. Make sure you do X and Y. Make sure you use a random number. Is touching character and coin.
Great. Onward.